Hi, I'm Steve Poftak, General Manager of the MBTA. I want to start by saying thank you to those of you who are adhering to CDC and DPH guidelines and taking only essential trips on the T. By doing your part, you're helping keep our employees and your fellow passengers safe. As a reminder, in accordance with the governor's emergency order to curb the spread of COVID-19, travel on the T should be limited to essential worker and essential trips only. If you're sick, you should avoid public transit and contact your health care provider. Please visit mass.gov slash COVID-19 for the latest information from the Department of Public Health. The T is doing its part as well. We care deeply about the well-being of our riders and our workforce and are doing everything we can to keep everyone safe. One of the most recent measures we've taken is the installation of removable barriers on buses and trolleys. Just this morning, we also distributed face masks to our employees as a further protective measure. These precautions, along with the social distancing seat signs and our expanded cleaning and disinfection efforts, help us keep our employees healthy and allow us to continue to operate for essential workers and trips. Regarding service levels, we continue to review ridership across the system and will make adjustments as necessary to best meet the needs of our riders, especially essential personnel, and to address any staffing shortages. We will communicate with you in advance of any changes, some of which may occur in the near term. We are constantly checking with operators and officials, as well as monitoring social media to identify and address issues on our system as we learn of them. If you experience issues with overcrowding on your bus or train, we want to hear about it. Please call the customer support hotline at 617-222-3200 so we can address your concerns. Again, I want to say thank you to the employees of the MBTA, and I hope you will join me in thanking them. This is a challenging time, and MBTA employees are essential people moving essential people. As Boston Globe columnist Adrian Walker wrote in Monday's paper, MBTA workers are part of the fight. He observed that MBTA employees on the front lines often go unnoticed, and I couldn't agree more. To honor our employees and the other essential workers in our communities, we have joined with John Hancock, the Boston Athletic Association, MassDOT, Governor Baker, and Boston Mayor Marty Walsh in saying, you're essential, we are grateful. Through April 21st, Government Center Station will be lit blue in recognition of our and all frontline staff who continue to keep us safe and our state moving. Thank you for watching today, and I welcome your comments.